NASA is getting ready to make history next month. Astronaut Nicole Mann will be the first Native American woman to go up into space. Colonel Mann of the Wallachy of Round Valley Indian Tribes will be mission commander on the SpaceX Dragon. She'll also be Expedition 68's flight engineer on the International Space Station, and she may even go to the moon. And I'm very lucky to have Colonel Mann joining me live now. I have to first ask, well, first, thanks for being here, but how do you feel ahead of this launch knowing you're about to make history? Thanks, Diane. I feel, I think in one word, just absolutely excited. I mean, the emotions are overwhelming. You know, the training that we've been through to launch with this crew, it's going to be an incredible mission. Now, this expedition will be your first space flight since becoming an astronaut in 2013. How do you prepare for something like this? A lot of pre preparation and a lot of support from folks at NASA. Uh, it's been a long road, but you prepare to uh, fly the spacecraft that you'll take to space. You also prepare to conduct science on board, maintenance. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do a couple spacewalks, uh, flying the robotic arm. And so there's a lot that goes into that preparation to be ready for your mission. And walk me through the feeling when you think about all of that. Does it make you nervous? I know you said you're excited, but there has to be so much more in that when you think about all of those different things that you might be doing. Uh, fortunately, the training is great, so you feel prepared. Uh, maybe I think when I'm sitting on top of that rocket and it starts to rumble, getting ready for launch, I bet my heart rate is going to be uh, through the roof. There might be a little nerves coming into play then. I love how in almost every single photo we're looking at you, you're smiling ear to ear as you're going through this training. <laughs> uh, what do you think you'll do when you land, when you're finally back here and thinking back on, on having completed this? Uh, I think it'll be an incredible journey. And everybody says to really take the moment during training and when you're in space, just to realize the opportunity that you have and realize the work that you're doing. Take a moment to look back at Earth and be thankful for all the people that work at NASA that have supported our operations in low Earth orbit and our future operations to the moon and eventually to Mars. Now on Monday, Artemis 1 is expected to make what could be a historic test launch to the moon, and that's expected to pave the way for a new generation of human space travel to get astronauts to the moon. How important is that moment to you? Oh, it's incredibly important. And we, we have been working on this as an agency for, for many years. And for the longest time, it's, it's this concept that's in your mind and it seems a little futuristic, but now it's actually happening. 8.33 Eastern time, a two hour launch window opens up for us to launch SLS and Orion to the moon. This starts a campaign of sending humans back to the moon, this time for sustained lunar presence. And it's really a stepping tone, stone for sending humans eventually to Mars, if you can believe that. So awesome. And I'm out of time, but I want to ask you quickly, are you going to bring any mementos up to space with you? I am bringing my wedding ring and uh, a couple charms and then a dream catcher that my mother gave me. Oh, I love that. Colonel Man, thank you so much for being here. Good luck to you. We'll be rooting you on. Thanks, Diane. Appreciate it. And tune in on Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern for our full coverage of the Artemis 1 liftoff to the moon space launch right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.